Uh, I was born in a, a very poor society in a slum in, uh, uh, in Uganda, Kampala. And uh, mine was a slum that was uh, characterized by uh, lack of hope, uh, lack of opportunity, and unemployment. I grew up uh, seeing my friends uh, drop out of school. I grew up uh, seeing my friends uh, get lured into drugs and uh, see their dreams uh, tarnished. Very young men with very promising futures. Uh, the lack of success that uh, surrounded me as I grew up forced me to become very hardworking and also to harness uh, the notion of social entrepreneurship. I worked hard through school and uh, I was able to graduate top of my class and among the top 50 students in the country. So the government uh, gave me a scholarship uh, to study medicine at the university. In the beginning, what drove me the most was uh, the desire to help out my parents. Uh, the fact that they were economically challenged forced me to be hardworking, uh, to be able to complement their economic uh, earnings. But later on, as I grew up and uh, I became very aware of my uh, community, so I uh, started up a farm that uh, created employment opportunities for people in my community. Today I employ about 50 people each season. I produce maize and beans at my farm and recently I started uh, rearing animals also. And uh, my business model was that all the money I keep getting from the farm, I reinvest it and uh, save part of it for other um, investments. So last year in November, I opened up a health facility, a clinic, and it's uh, providing health services to about 500 uh, uh, people in my community. Smaller Earth has a vision of reaching out to over 20 million people by the year 2020. I joined the competition because, um, first of all, I found it to be a very fascinating idea. Uh, the fact that uh, a company wants to impact over 20 million people I would like to be part of such a scheme. I would like to be uh, a part of such a project. But also uh, the fact that uh, they were looking for people who could use their stories to use their experiences to inspire people around the world. Uh, my manifesto was um, basically considering uh, introducing social entrepreneurship in uh, various communities around the world. I looked at uh, using uh, simple methods uh, to empower young people. Uh, methods like uh, accumulating capital through their own talents. I uh, look at uh, encouraging young people to do things like shoe repair or do things like uh, making paper bags for different uh, companies that uh, sell different things. And I'm hoping that such small activities in which uh, the youths are using their skills, they can raise little money, that, uh, which money they can keep reinvesting in uh, small-scale businesses that can uh, promote their social and economic growth. I'm hoping to work so much with uh, students in high schools and also in universities, forming small groups uh, to encourage them to participate in uh, this competition, to encourage them to tell their story, and uh, look out for as many young entrepreneurs around the world and uh, unite them with smaller art so that their stories can be brought out uh, to inspire many other young people. I felt very ecstatic. I felt uh, very happy and uh, I would say euphoric uh, for having uh, won such uh, an amazing competition and also for having come first out of uh, 60, about 60,000 people around the world. But at the same time, I felt uh, a very overwhelming sense of uh, responsibility, first uh, to my fellow participants in uh, this competition, the 16 that made it to, the, to Liverpool, to the final. I feel uh, I'm uh, going to be representing their ideas. I'm going to be representing their stories. And so I'm under pressure to do this in the best way possible, just like each one of them uh, would have done this job. I also felt uh, it was uh, humbling for me because uh, I didn't think uh, I was better than any of them. Uh, that's why I'm taking it as a responsibility to serve all, the, all of them and represent them and their stories to the world. I will be traveling uh, to a number of uh, countries, I will uh, say uh, across five continents, 
and uh, in each uh, continent I'll be working with uh, a particular project that uh, Smaller Earth will be attaching me to. Mm -hmm. And uh, my duty there will be to study how the project uh, is run and uh, keep reporting back to Smaller Earth. However, I will also go out to try and find as many young people that uh, have uh, quite inspiring uh, entrepreneurial stories in those various communities I'm going to be working in so that I bring them to the world uh, to see that we can inspire many other young people to take up entrepreneurship. I will also represent Smaller Earth at uh, various conferences where I'll be requested to give various kinds of speeches uh, to young entrepreneurs. I believed I had a story that could uh, inspire hope, uh, that could uh, inspire hard work, and uh, that could make young people dream. It's a very uh, small story of success, but uh, I believe it's one that can uh, show the world, that can show the young people that whatever the condition uh, you've been brought up uh, in, or no matter your background, you can do something uh, to improve life in your community.